the hood with it. Welcome back to the Collective Clips where you already know we get it in. But before we get it in, let's hit that like and subscribe button thing and put your notification bell on all. So that way you're directing the direction of the dope content that I'm kicking. And I highly appreciate all the support, man. We're going up on this channel and it's all because of you and you said it and I filled it up with Unleaded, man, and I appreciate it. Did that rhyme? I don't know. I'm not lefty gunplay. I can get right. So trip out on this, right? Um, It's anticipated. The most anticipated. You guys want to hear about my primo again? Are you ready? Yeah, gun will hold. <laughs> hey, that motherfucker called me like, hey, bro, I don't, I don't like the way you said that. I'm a super norteño. Por qué? I'm not. I said, did you say por qué? He said, yeah, 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 I learned that. I learned that. That's one of my mom's boyfriends. One of her many boyfriends taught him a new word. So I wanted to tell you guys a story about the Battle of High Socks. And if you guys don't know what the Battle of High Socks is, it's when my super ass norteño primo met up with a super sureño. Oh, now you know you're in trouble, right? And it was definitely the Battle of High Socks. They met at a park. Actually, my cousin hunted them down to a park and explosive mode. It was all bad, right? I never seen something. I wish I had a, I wish there was social media back then. There was, but not to the degree it is now. Cause I would have recorded some shit and I would have went viral 10 times platinum. We'd have had all kinds of plaques on my walls. These motherfuckers were different, right? My primo, um, a super sureño and my primo fighting or scratching. And, let's get to it. So my primo was on his high power shit. He had just paroled. And here's one thing about him. He doesn't, he's not the type to get right, right in the mix. You know, he listens to his mom a little bit. So he tries to get out and he's with the same old fat chick all the time. I mean, he has several different ones, but this is like the staple. Her name's Sheila. Oh, oh, Sheila. Let me see. You ain't got no pants tonight. Oh, you do. They're just sucked into your asshole. Now look, she's always there. So he's always talking about, Hey bro, I gotta do it. I gotta do what's right for my kids and for my old lady and shit. I said, well, if you were doing that, you would fix some of these holes in these walls and get the fuck out of your mom's pad. He said, the fuck? No, no, that's too right. That's too right. If loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. Right? So he just wants to do, he wants to half step, but he gets out and every time he's paroles, which is, that motherfucker's been to prison on little violations so many times. Always violate. How do you violate killing chickens, killing coyotes? I don't know what you do out there to violate but he wiggles a little bit. So he's always, hey, this Vato has violated 10 different times for wearing the color red. And he's like, I don't care what they do. I'll, I'll fucking get out and straight wear red, right? This ain't even, this is salmon. It's salmon pink, but they think. See, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking reversing on them. Chicano, you turn, right? So look, this fool gets out and he, he tends to do good when he gets out. So he gives me a call one day and he's like, hey, primo, let's go cruising. I had just got a 69 Impala. Shaved door handles, clean, triple gold ones. I thought I was doing big things. It was my very, very first Impala. And hey, every Chicano's dream is to have an Impala. A Cutlass, a Regal, or an Impala. And in that fashion, if you can fucking wiggle a Skylark on 20s in there, somehow, some way, then you're doing big things. But I had just got my first Impala. I copped it for my Theo. Um, took him on a shopping spree. No diddy. No diddy. Right? Took him on a shopping spree with a stolen credit card and made things wiggle. Right? Statue of Limitations is up. Spence on. So anyways, I did my thing. Pulled up. He was like, hey, fool, come through. I know you got the whip and shit. We're going to go cruising. All right, like, fuck it. Let's go. Now, my cruising is not his cruising. I cruise. He hunts. He can't just go out, have a good time, cruise around the park, fucking look for some tortas, you know? I let him do something so we can try to do something. He can't do that. He needs to constantly be looking out for the adversary, the opposition, the threat. That's not even a threat. We're supposed to be low riding, bitches looking at us, winning, right? Uh-uh. Fucking with him, we're losing. And I already know the get down, but again, he's my primo. Ain't got no car, ain't got no bike, nada. So he's like, come over, fool, let's go cruise. So I'm like, you know what, fuck it. I'm feeling real charitable today. I'll do it. He's like, me, it's going to be me, you. Whoa, 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 hold up. No, bro. My The springs are in the back are already fucked up. My trunk is off. No, bro. The last time your chick got into my car, my fucking trunk popped open. I don't need that in my life, bro. She's going to fuck. We're not. No, we're not riding like this, you know, and there ain't no way. Well, she could just sit in the front. She could squeeze in between us. Squeeze in between us. Nah, bro. We tried that before. Remember? I was like that. I'm dying like that. I'm cool, bro. I don't need that in my life, right? So he's like, so I, so I got to tell her she can't go. I, I'll tell her. 
You know, if you won't. So he's like, I can hear, babe, what? My primo says you're too fat. What? Right? That's fucked up. She be mean mubby. She hates me. It's not because she ain't me. Because I, one of these days, I think she want to try to eat me. I, I don't know. Right? We're going to, that's another story for part four. But anyway, so he comes down. I'm like, all right, I'll be there in a couple hours. Bro, let me shower. Get G'd up. And I got you. <clears throat> so it's summertime. Wife beater. I'm not it down. Not as many tattoos as I have now. But, you know, I had a lot of them. And um, I ain't going to lie. I'm bald headed, bro. Threw my little hat on. You know, it is what it is. I'm trying to look smooth criminal. Like a Mike Jack song. And so anyways, bam, I pull up. Who is that? It's my tia, right? I'm like, hey, it's me. Me who? Me who? Oh, okay, me who? Come in. Says, okay, excuse the, the house. It's a little dirty. Oh, is it now? Right? So I walk in. She's watching. The price is right. Da -da -da -da. She goes, oh, me that Bob Barker. Bet you back in the days he could eat some pussy. What would you say, tia? No, I said about Bob Barker. You know, he's looking real, uh, uh, he's looking real good, right? So I walk in and she's like, mijo, something happened. And I'm, I tell my primo, hey, hurry up, fool. He's like, wait up, I'm in the shower with this chick. So I know it's going to be a while because they have to squeeze in. They're looking like the number 10 in the shower. Dime piece, right? So I know it's going to take a minute. So now I'm stuck with my tia and she's sitting there farting all over the fucking couch. Dirty ass couch, right? Facts. You know, she's going to be mad at me. Um, but she's going to be glad that I gave her exposure. So anyway, she's sitting there like a fucking fat Kardashian and she's watching the prices right, lusting over Bob Barker and me, I can't stand Bob Barker. Cause every time I hear that name, I think of uh, prison industries and the Bob Barker shoes and all that from back in the YA days. Right? So anyway, she's like, me, I think the house is haunted. Serio. And I'm like, why? What happened? She's like, for real, you believe in this? She said, sit down, me, go sit down, move my feet. I'm like, nah, Hey, the type of tia that I put her feet right on your ass. Oh, fine. I forgot. I forgot we're related. Right? So I'm like, hey, what happened? She's like, hey, full trip out. Um, let me sit up for this. Uh, uh, right? She's like, hey, uh, last night when I came in here, I heard footsteps. I said, for real? She goes, like, yeah, they were louder than usual. She goes, because I'm used to footsteps. You know, usually it's when I turn the lights on, it's the roaches. She goes, but this time I heard real footsteps, right? I said, you're bullshitting, right? She goes, no, turn the light off right now. I said, it's the middle of the day. It's not going to change nothing. Just turn the fucking light off. So I turned the light off. It gets a little bit darker in there, right? She turned Bob Barker off and she's, you hear that? You hear that? Yeah, I hear that. It's a fucking rat eating a cat. Rats this big in eating your fucking cat. That's what it is. Oh, Michael, at least the house is not haunted. And he'll be all right. That's what he could. He knows what it is, right? So my tia's kicking back there and all of a sudden a paisa comes wandering out, right? Straight boxers on and cowboy boots. Hey, what's that, mijo? I was, do I recognize this one? She goes, oh, that's one. And it was Wednesday. And I said, look, man, I know whites have meatloaf Monday. Mexicans, we have taco Tuesday. What do you have, Juan Wednesday? I said, that doesn't, Juan doesn't even, it's not even a W. She goes, no, because I won at bingo. I won Juan Wednesday. There we go, right? She has Waldo fucking Thursday, fucking Felipe Friday. My tia's for the streets, right? <laughs> I'm telling you, or for the bars back in the days in the bingo halls. Anyways, my primo comes out. Hey, what's up, primo? You ready? You ready? Damn, mom, like that? Hey, she just got a bra on. I didn't even notice because I'm not paying attention. It's my tia. She's rubbing her nipple like that. Don't worry, Miko. It's not like, it's just my fucking nephew and Juan. Ain't that right, Juan? Juan's like, see, sí. right? Juan's sitting there, little dicked, short ass little paisa. You know what I mean? Tienes huevos. He's going to go cook some eggs and chorizo. And so my cousin's like, hey, come in the room real quick. Come in, come in the room. So I go in there and his lady's just mean mugging me, right? And she's watching their little ass TV, a 13 inch that he brought from prison. Cold blooded. Who takes their TV home from prison? He did. Clear ass TV. She's watching it, right? It's all fuzzy and fucked up. They got no cable. That's why my tia's watching The Price is Right. When you walk into her house, it's either a novella because it's free and she has the antennas with the foil or it's The Price is Right, or Maury, or Jerry Springer, and in rotation, right? On Saturdays, hey, my tia's in there grooving, right? She's bumping Soul Train, the hippest chick in America. So I walk in, and my primo got it all redded out, right? Red light, red ponyo curtains, Timu rug, all that, right? And he's like, hey, primes, he's like, just let her go, just let her go. And I'm like, fuck, man, she's gonna fuck my coils up. Get up then, let's go, right? She's fucking... Doing her hair, she was, it's going to take me a minute. Bitch, I ain't got time. I already waited. 
for this volatile, for you to braid his fucking fuck the past Mongolian, for him to throw a white beater on, and socks that come up to here. Mm. High socks, right? Red stripes. He got the red Cortezes on. You know, I'm, I'm in the black ones. Boom. Like that, right? So I'm living. So I'm like, let's go. So she jumps in, hair still wet, dripping all over my fucking, my, my, uh, Seats, I'm pissed. I'm like, damn, bro, how the fuck am I going to pull a chick with Mugre? He's like, don't trip. Chicks like her. She'll pull them. I'm like, man, we tried that before. She brought some straight up characters. You know what I'm saying? Hey, she looks like Biff Tannen from Back to the Future. You know, a Mexican chick with the hella pock marks and just very light skinted. I don't know what it is, man. She, Like I said, she looks like fucking, she needs to make like a tree and get out of here. But whatever, we're gone, right? So we're cruising. He's like, hey, let's fucking cruise to Merced, and then we'll cruise to Levas. I said, no, we're not going to Livingston, bro. So you can go over there and chill with the homeboys, and they can make fun of you all day. I'm cool. We're just going to go through Merced. We might fucking smash up to Turlock, go visit some of the fam. Let's just cruise, right? Fuck, I just want to chill on a Sunday afternoon like a lighter shade of brown song. So he's like, all right, cool. And so there's a park in Turlock, California, right? Turlock is right by Merced, maybe like 15, 20 minutes away, and it's called Donley Park. Now, we call it the duck park. There's like a little pond that runs through it, a little man-made pond, and there's ducks and shit. People go there and drink, but it ain't like a, a hood park where there's gangsters all the time. I mean, on the weekends, you can catch some motherfuckers from the west side out there slipping. But usually, it's just regular people, old people feeding ducks, and you don't really see too much going on. Now, Turlock is the meth capital of the Central Valley, meaning there's vultures from Turlock right now watching like, damn, gun, you're cold. But it's the truth, right? It's either Antioch or fucking Turlock. You pick one. But in the Central Valley, it's going to be Turlock, right? So you are liable and able to see Vatos hitting the pipa behind a tree. It happens all the time. Um, and they like to go to the parks and just sit there with their dog, walk their dog and smoke meth, right? It's just, just part, of the, part of the life. So my primo's cruising around, right? Now, my primo is a reformed dope fiend, meaning he reforms every time he goes in. And then when he comes out, he's back. Do you understand what I'm saying? One of them type of dudes. So I could tell that him and his old lady hit the pookie and she's different. She's reverse, reverse psychology. When that bitch hits the pookie, she gets fatter, you know? So he's skinny. She's fat. She's over there rubbing on his earlobe, but rough too. Just fucking just grinding it, right? He had a blog up behind his ear, popped, squirted her in the face. True stories. Do you got a napkin in your thing? Nah, she's doing this on my fucking shit. Wet hair, fucking pit, uh, fucking, what was that? Shot? Pimple juice all over my shit. It's just bad. It's a bad situation, right? So we're cruising, and my primo says, hey, stop. In slow motion, I'm like, why? What happened? And I look, bro, and don't, 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 don't. There's a chick, a skinny little dude right there. He's like a youngster, probably like 16, 17 years old. And an OG, not OG. To us, he was. He was probably like in his, we were in our 30s. He was probably like in his 40s, mid 40s, right? With a fucking skinny ass brocha, like a brocha down to here, but you could see through it. You know what I mean? It was just like scraggly. This bottle was skin bald with a hairnet on. It looked like they took a glob of three flowers and just went and then put the fucking hairnet on so it didn't move. Socks just that much higher than my primos. Hey, Chuck Taylor's on, Dickie shorts, just super sureño, right? That Vato's fucking, hey, his fucking shorts are pulled up to here and he's just walking like this. And he's standing there having a conversation with this chick and this youngster and he doesn't even move his arms. They're like welded to his fucking chest the whole time and he's just giving them the business. You know what I'm saying? Back in these laws, I say, right? And he's telling them. And my primo sees him and I see his eyes turn red, literally. And he's like, stop. Young chicks in the hood try to come up, right? He goes straight into super northerner mode. Now, prior to this, he was kind of just loving on his old lady and having a good time. And it was, I was cool. He gets like that sometimes where he just wants to kick on back, but he's ready to attack. And that's just how it was. So he's like, hey, you see that? And I seen it, right? But I was like, fuck no. Right? I was like, he's like, go through the park, go through the park. Now you can cruise on the outside of the park or there's a road that goes inside, you know, for the, and they got all the little, um, barbecue pits and the tables and shit and these dudes are sitting like or this dude and this little youngster they're sitting by a, a on a table by a barbecue pit they got a couple food for less bags looks like a 12 pack of heineken or whatever they're drinking bush they're just chilling right whatever was cheaper that day it was cheaper to keep her and his old lady's like she's fucking getting her wet hair and she's tying a red poncho around it tag team situation tugboat 
and fucking uh, the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase, only the non-Million Dollar Man, because he has no money, right? But that's what he looks like, only with a Mongolian and weird. So anyways, I'm like, oh, fuck, we're about to get WWE right now. So my primo's like, you get the youngster. I said, nah, bro, I'm cool. It's not that serious. He's like, no, I'm jumping out on this motherfucker. I said, nah, bro, don't do that, because they're going to recognize my car. I don't need that smoke. You know what I mean? There's cops. I'm trying to come up with any excuse to let the Vata just live. The Vata's just chilling. He's like, no, watch this. And I'm like, fuck, my cousin's going to get whipped on again, man. I'm going to have to save the day. Straight up. Now, his old lady, she's a thumper. And what do I mean by thumper? There's not a fight she hasn't won yet. She beats up men, women. Uh, CPS been called a gang of time, so I, I assume children. She's just not a good person, right? But at the same time, she's not knowing to fuck or fool with. She's with the, the activities of the business. And she's like, I'll take the other one. I'm like, no, no, no. Fuck. That's why I didn't want to bring fucking Mugen in because I already know how she gets down. He's like, don't trip on my old lady, Holmes. She's with the shit. You know, she's with the shit. Show him, babe. Show him, babe. Hey, she goes like this on her back. XIV to eternity. Matching tattoos, right? His and hers. I said, oh, fuck no. It's all ugly, right? So we cruise through there. And I already know what it is, but I'm like, fuck, it's going to be funny. And when we cruise through there, I'm gonna try to speed past them and there's speed bumps right there so you have to go slow and remember my shit's low and it's even lower now because fucking fat fat girls in the back and my so we're riding like this right so we cruise one time and the south sider looks and he turns real quick and he goes so pepsi right and my primo says in there, right hella loud i was like oh fuck he sounded like a brother right there he got some bass in his voice that motherfucker sounded like one of the Isley brothers with all that bullshit going down, fight the power, right? I was like, oh, hell no. And so the South Sider just, he looks and he was like, that's right, that's right, that's it. And it turns back around, right? Hairnet has not moved yet. And I can see beads of sweat and fucking three flower juice going down his face, right? Socks got grease stains on him from the three flowers dripping off his nipples. I'm like, oh, no. How in this work can there be two of them? One from the north and south. This is when I knew, it was at that exact moment I knew we weren't much different as a people. We were exactly the same. They got one, we got one, right? Fuck, man. The next time my cousin was like, hey, well, I'm gonna take flight when we come back. So I'm like, fuck, this is gonna be funny. At this point, I'm like, I seen the dude, so I know he doesn't pose a threat. I'm thinking he might blind my cousin with his bro shot, but other than that, my cousin might win this one. This might be his first, not his last. Orale, Bob, right? So as we cruise around, this fool jumps out of the car as I'm going, because I'm just gonna like, fuck it, at the last minute, I see that he's with this youngster and this chick, and I'm like, man, I ain't trying to get told on. She might grab a cell phone and call the cops or something. So as I'm cruising by, my cousin jumps out, trips, right? And as he's falling, he says, my socks, right? Boom, scuffs his socks all up. His socks get all dirty, so then he pulls it up. What's up, Benny? What you want to do? The surrender's like, we can do whatever I say, right? These guys are yelling from about a 20-foot distance. Neither one of them has taken a step forward. My cousin jumped out of the car and fell off. Now his old lady gets off. And hey, I swear to you, God is my witness. When she got off, I went like this. Right? The car, the fucking shit, like, it was like a, uh, like a teeter-totter. I sprung up, right? They're looking at me like, the Suren was like, you okay, sir? I was like, oh, fuck. I bumped my head and shit. I'm like, hurry up and fight, right? Let's get the fuck out of here. The chick is, now the chick, she's getting crazy. The one that's with the South Sider. She jumps up. She's wearing a fucking little half shirt with like a fucking blue thing right here. And she was like, I said, we can do whatever, right? <sighs> y pobre si. Her head was up her culo faster than I could say get fucked, right? Mugre ran over there, slow motion. With fists of steel and just hit her like this. <sniffs> uh, that chick was like, so, right? And she was done. Hey, that dude said, hey, my niece, right? And my cousin took a wildest swing, ran up on him. And it was the battle of high socks. One of them was doing this. The other one was doing this. Right? And these motherfuckers were going at it. The youngster, I'm just looking at him. He doesn't want no problems. Right? He's just sitting there like, what do I do? What do I do? Deal, right? I guess this was his nephew and his nephew's fucking old lady or whatever the case was. Right? These guys fought for about five to ten minutes. They were slanging dogs. I mean, they were both right going at it. The fucking hairnet never, ever moved, okay? By the time these guys were done fighting, I say it was about an even fight. I say it was even. At one point, he did have my cousin in what I would call um, a fish hook, but my cousin was trying to bite him, so I figured he was all right, right? 
I literally, this is a true story, palabra, my word, as my word on the curb, man, as a man, walked over to the table, dipped into their eye chest, popped a beer, leaned up against the car and watched them fight. There was two brothers that were standing on the corner smoking meth. They walked over and joined me. One blew a cloud and woke me up, right? I was like, oh shit, that's some good shit, right? And I'm drinking my beer and we're watching this fight and these guys are rolling in the dirt. My socks, my socks, my Cortez's. One Cortez is this way. His hairnet, again, is still attached, right? My prima's Mongolian's all fucked up now. The South Sider's trying to pull it. You don't fuck, you don't pull a Northanger's Mongolian. You fucking, right? He's disrespecting. They're both going at it. All I hear is chapete, chapete, right? I'm like, ah, oh, no, no way. At the end of this fight, the South Sider jumped up. He was like, what's up? You want some more? My primo is leaking in the nose. This vato's eye got a big old cut under. He's leaking. And my primo's like, we could do whatever. We could do whatever. And I'm like, hey, you might have won this one, fool. My primo's like, where were you? And I was like, I was right here. I had your back the whole time, cracking the next beer. <laughs> right? Brother's like, can I get one of those? Sure. South Sider's like, that's my pistol. Right? It, it, it was. Right? The youngster's over there, cheers, drinking with us. His chick is still fucked up. The fat bitch is over there trying to stuff her fat ass in the car. And I'm right there like, damn. And guess what both these dudes said? True story. They both turned around. This dude looked at his nephew. My primo looked at me and they said, fool, he didn't fuck up my socks though. The battle of high socks. True story. These motherfuckers went at it. So anyways, my primo jumps in the car. We go to Jack in the Box because his chick is starving after that fucking one punch knockout, right? So we go get her a number three, the sourdough Jack minus the tomato. I remember her whole fucking get down. Six tacos and some fucking stuffed jalapenos and the cheesy wedges, right? So she's back there fucking shit up. Chicken grease, bacon grease, still hair wet, right? Only she has a paño on it now, so it's all right, right? And of course, now there's three flour grease all over my car because my cousin looks like he just, like, he's Costa Zoo. Like, they, he just got fucking all kinds of Vaseline all over his face, but it smells quite, quite pleasant, right? These guys smell like a mix between cool water, jacquard, fucking, uh, Three flowers and, of course, baking grease in the back. I tell my cousin, well, you pretty much ruined that. He said, hey, I got off, huh? Hey, I got, I'm going to tell the homies all about it. I said, I'm sure you will, right? I drop him back off at his mom's house. When he walks in, she says, let me guess. He beat up another South Sider. I said, ah. And I don't know what he tells you, but in this case, he might have actually got the upper hand just slightly. What happened, mijo? Tell me all about it. One. I'll take another plate, right? This is just how it is in that household. And that's how it was. My cousin went in the room. He was like, you didn't have my back, fool. I'm not going to forget that. I said, uh, the Vato was 103 years old. You did, I didn't need to have your back. The Vato fucking threw his hands up like this, like he was Tong Po, bro. And you were like this, like you were Popeye, bro. I didn't need to be involved in that. That wasn't a North and South issue. That was two fucking pendejos fucking rolling around in the dirt, worried about their, their fucking high socks. And he was like, hey, bro, but keep it real. I won, though. I won, right? I won. You won. You won, bro. That's right. That's right. This motherfucker went to his wall. Now, this is how hood and ghetto that house is. You know, the house with the shingles falling off. He fucking wrote the date and time and put one South Sider down with the X. <laughs> he said, hey, bro, I got one. 100,000 more to go. I said, yeah, well, you go. You just keep on that warpath, buster. And we'll be all right, right? And he was like, you called me a buster? I said, that's your middle name. He goes, oh, it is. <laughs> Just so you know, my fuck, I'm not disrespecting. My primo's middle name is Buster. Hey, tell me his mom wasn't confused and gangbanging at that time too. Anyways, that's the story. True story, man. His old lady was like, my wrist hurts, right? I said, your fucking stomach shit too for how much food you consumed. We weren't even past the fucking line of Jack in the Box already. And she'd already smashed two tacos. I'm telling true stories here, right? With that being said, I hope that you move with a purpose. If you guys want me to elaborate with the part four and go more into what my tia be doing, I got you, right? And how my primo feels about all these different vices at his pad. Because one time it went down. Part four coming tomorrow. You already know what it is. With that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming. And remember at the end of the day, if you got any family member or a primo like mine, it's fun sometimes, but most of the time it's dangerous. You know, imagine if the cops would have came. I would. What's going on here? I'm drinking beer, officer. There's my license and registration. Do you know these two fucking dudes run, rolling around like tumbleweeds? <laughs> Do I? Nope. <laughs> right? That's exactly what I would have said. 
you know what it is. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive, struggle, struggle, strive for what I honestly and truly believe in. And that's the betterment of all people, man. I tell these stories not to glorify or make fun of my cousin. Why well, I do. Fuck him. I don't care. He's going to call me like, yeah, that's fucked up. We're going to have to catch a friendly fade again. Are you ready for another choke session? No diddy. <laughs> right? The gun. Bang, bang.